This is a demo of the GoToAssist service desk. I'm going to show all three types of users. Customers that typically create the incidents. Users, those are technicians that resolve incidents. And admins who create and configure the settings. I've just logged on to the customer portal and I see the knowledge base screen where I can search for answers. And once I find an answer, I can click on Me Too if it helped me or I still need help which would create a new incident. I can add a comment or add myself to the watch list and be notified when it changes. On the messages tab I see some announcements for example email will be down for routine maintenance this weekend or there's a new feature on email. On the my incidents tab I can see the incidents that are resolved and still open. On the new incident tab I'll create a new incident email not working sometimes see error, add an attachment, and specify single user and reasonably urgent, and click save to submit the incident. Now let's jump over to the technician perspective. I see my day-to-day -day buttons are at the top here, overview with a dashboard, incidents, problems, changes, releases, knowledge base, and messages. Incidents where I go to resolve the incidents, I see there's the new incident, email not working sometime, I click on that to open it and I see the error message on the screenshot, add a comment, add a resolution. I changed his Outlook timeout settings. Click on resolved. I might start a remote support session where my session recording and notes will be attached automatically to this ticket. I can link it to another problem, let's say email problem. Email sometimes loses connections. I can also record my time in minutes Help Al and save. I close the ticket with this checkbox on close and click save. Al will automatically get an email asking for a satisfaction survey or he can answer that on the portal. Now let's look at problem management. Problem is a way to link a bunch of incidents together and solve it with your team. For example, I have an email server problem. If I open this email server problem and I see the root cause is a memory leak and the workaround is to reboot the mail server. Next, let's look at change management. An example change might be installing Service Pack 3 on the Exchange mail server. If we open this change, we can see it's got three phases, plan, build, and test. After you plan, you can submit it for approval to authorized approvers. Now let's look at releases. Releases are similar to changes, except they have a few different features that more apply to software, such as the release of a new version of your intranet. Knowledge is where you go to create knowledge base articles that are seen on your customer portal. They can be marked for internal or external and published or kept in draft form. And you can see the people that found it helpful and the number of comments they've left. Messages is where I go to create the announcements that show up on the customer portal. Now I'll show you the role of admin. Admin can click on configure and then settings and see a screen that shows the services that you've created. You can create, delete users. You can create and delete and modify groups, modify customers, companies, customize your email and portal settings. For example, you know, color and logo and manage account that goes across all of your services. You might create different services if you have different settings for SLA or different approver permissions or default assignments for incidents. You might want to have separate services for different customers, or if you want to separate employees and customers, or have separate services for facilities and IT. That's it. Thanks for watching.